How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you tried unblocking Netflix with Ola VPN, you might notice that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. But even you know when it works, you really shouldn't use Ola VPN for a bunch of reasons. Now, sure, it's fast and it's easy to use, but it's of course fast because it doesn't use any encryption. So let's get through the reasons why Ola VPN is pretty much one of the worst services that you can ever use. It's not even a VPN because it doesn't encrypt your traffic. So first of all, it logs a lot of information. Whether you're a registered user or a free user, you're going to get a bunch of information used. Okay. So if you're using Ola VPN or if you want to use VPN to uh, protect your logs or data or keep everything uh, private and anonymous, you're not really doing yourself a favor using Ola VPN. Second of all, because, I mean, it's fast because it's a proxy. There's no encryption. Um, a VPN is going to encrypt your traffic with 256-bit uh, AES encryption and, you know, the standard use of the OpenVPN protocol. Um, Ola VPN doesn't do any of that. So you're opening yourself up to security risks because it is a peer-to-peer -peer network. It's not really a VPN and it uses peer-to-peer. -peer. It's not using OpenVPN or WireGuard protocols, which will definitely open you up to WebRTC and DNS leaks. Now, with regards to Netflix, it still claims that it can unblock Netflix, but Ola VPN is not that consistent with regards to unblocking Netflix, and it doesn't even allow for torrenting properly. It uh, pretty much forbids the use of torrenting. It pretty much does not allow for torrenting, even though it doesn't strictly, um, well, they don't really express that they forbid it, but it just doesn't allow it. It's It, it doesn't work with torrenting. Uh, even though it's a peer-to-peer -peer based network right here, it still doesn't allow for peer-to-peer -peer activities. You have limited device support as well. Um, while they do claim that they work on most devices, I found that the application itself is pretty flimsy and it doesn't work that well um, and uh, of course there are no servers no kill switch and a history of misconduct so you've got this as an example here where Ola VPN got caught a few years ago using its free subscribers as an enormous botnet and selling it to users of their paid Luminati servers for upwards of $20 per gigabyte um, and in 2015 a Luminati user took advantage of this massive of botnet uh, comprised of unwitting civilians to launch an attack against a website called 8chan. So with all of that, you shouldn't really go for even the free version of Ola VPN. If you're looking for a free VPN, go for Proton VPN. It's a great VPN. But if you're looking for a VPN that is supposed to, well, do the job of an actual VPN, which is protect you, keep your logs private, not really collect logs in the first place and have audited no logs policies and it's quick, it's got 256-bit encryption and it works with Netflix pretty reliably. You've got these three VPNs as the best example that I can come up with for VPN. Just good VPNs in general that have audited no locks policies, great speeds, uh, full streaming and torrenting support, and of course, the necessary security features such as the kill switch split tunneling and a bunch of protocols at your disposal. Express, Nord and Surfshark are honestly three of the best VPNs in the industry. But if you want to learn more about them, you'll find the full reviews down below as well as links to pricing and discounts. Let me just go ahead and give you an example. Sing2, I was just trying to look it up and it's not available for me because I'm not in the United States and it's only available in the United States and South Korea. So if it shows up, it means that I finally have access to the United States library. Let's go ahead and refresh. Now that I'm connected to the United States server with NordVPN, and as you can tell, it shows up as if I'm in the United States myself. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested, again, in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. And you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free thanks to the 30-day money-back guarantee. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.